When you think of NFL quarterbacks today, who do you think of? Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson? The debate goes on, but as much as we hear the debate of who the worst, best, or most overrated NFL quarterback is, we don't too often hear the most underrated. That's what I'm here for, and I'm here to tell you that he is hiding in the pride of the NFC North. Picture this. It's 2008. You're a fan of the Detroit Lions. Although, why would anyone be a fan of a team who just finished with 16 losses and not a single win, the worst in NFL history, and witnessed the firing of its head coach and GM all in one season? Right now, the Lions are abysmal, losing each game by an average of 16 points. The future does not look bright until... With the first pick in the 2009 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select... Matthew Stafford, quarterback of Georgia. <laughs> Welcome to the NFL, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford, the young, high-potential quarterback from Georgia, is now the signal caller. Stafford began his football career in the competitive state of Texas, where he led Highland Park High School to a state championship and earned the title of the number one quarterback in the class. After committing to Georgia, he won the starting job as a freshman and racked up nearly 8,000 yards and scored 57 total touchdowns throughout three seasons. After his junior year, he entered the 2009 NFL Draft, which is where the Lions picked him up first off the board. Even though he was the opening day starter for Detroit, Stafford had a rough rookie season, missing six games due to injury and only winning two games as a starter. The one highlight was his one-point win over the Cleveland Browns, where he threw a game-winning touchdown with his shoulder out of its socket. After that, Stafford grew into his position, and in his third season threw for over 5,000 yards and led the Lions to their first playoff appearance since 1999. Today he's made the playoffs three total times, has reached 41,000 passing yards faster than anyone in NFL history, and has had some MVP caliber seasons. So why is he so underrated? The most memorable teams in the NFC North are, in order. Packers, Vikings, Bears, Lions. That's right. Stafford and the Lions are overshadowed by three historical gems in the Packers, Bears, and Vikings. Being the best player on one of the NFL's most forgettable, underachieving teams hasn't done Stafford any favors. <laughs> we almost beat the Chiefs! In this comparison, Stafford is like Qdoba, an underrated restaurant overshadowed by Chipotle. Seriously, Qdoba is like 10 times better anyway. I, I think it's just because of the team he's on and the success the team has not had. Um, I think he's gotten the most light probably when they've gone to the playoffs, like Man City, like the Cowboys, when they've gone to those big games. Um, but I just think just because the lack of team success has really taken the spotlight away from Matt Stafford. He doesn't have a playoff win. Stafford has been the premier catalyst of the Lions' success, but has lost in every single playoff game they've played in, including a controversial loss to the Cowboys in 2014, where a late pass interference flag was picked up for no reason, giving Dallas the ball to score a game-winning touchdown. No flag, there it is! Yes, sir! Pettigrew is the intended receiver. Anthony Hitchens never turned and located. That'll be pass interference on the Cowboys. Every single penalty has been on us tonight. Every single penalty. That's a flag. Wow. Boy, that was late. Have you ever seen that call picked up that late? Hey, Pete, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable, and you know it. You know it is, though. I know. How does that get overturned? How does that get overturned? This year, Stafford was playing like an MVP, throwing for 2,500 yards with 19 touchdowns and just five interceptions through eight games. Then he underwent back surgery, ending his season. In the midst of this, the Lions played a season-leading 14 close games, losing 12 of them and finishing with an average margin of loss at under 5 points per game. Stafford also has a knack to lead his team to victory in the late moments of the game. He has 28 fourth-quarter comebacks, fifth most of active NFL quarterbacks, and tied for 11th most of all time with Brett Favre. 
The main reason why Stafford is so underrated is his lack of consistent team success. He's been a top 10 quarterback the entire time he's been in the, in the National Football League. It hasn't been good enough. The people around Matthew have failed him. Matthew hasn't failed Detroit. The people around Matthew have failed Detroit. Regardless if he's putting up numbers to get him into the Hall of Fame, if the team around him doesn't perform well enough to eventually win a Super Bowl, or at least a couple of playoff games, he may be forgotten in the grand scheme of the NFL's history. But there's still time though. Time for Detroit to buckle down and give the guy who's already given them so much a Super Bowl victory.